let's get into Welcome back to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour, our hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. And today I have a really exciting video. I finally got my Pat McGrath package with the concealers. Um, this is the second time that I placed this order. The first time that I ordered this, it was the wrong color. It was way too dark for me to highlight with. So I placed another order and this is how it comes here packaged in the box. So this is the concealer here in the box. The color that the color that I chose was the MD23, um, which is medium deep 23. And of course, this is the package, her typical logo, like she has on everything else. And this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Under Eye Powder. And I got the color in medium. So this is how it comes packaged. I'm about to go ahead and open it now so we can get our first impressions on, okay? So this is how the concealer comes here in the bottle. This is actually a glass bottle. So if it falls, it falls. All right, so it's a glass bottle. And it has her, of course, her name going across the top here. Pat McGrath Labs. And the color again is MD23. I just want to swatch this for you guys so you can see the color. Well, before I do that, let me show you the applicator. So it's that typical sponge doe foot applicator. Just put some on my hand here so you guys can see. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. I actually have a couple concealers here that I'm going to compare it to. So you guys can, it can kind of help you pick your color. Because we can just compare it to concealers that are more common, ones that you probably have at home that you can compare to this particular one. Um, just first impression, swatching this on my hand, it feels really soft. And I really like the color. Let's go ahead and compare some other concealers. Just a second, I'm going to grab the more common ones that you probably have, girl. So the first one we're going to compare is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And I have the number 10 in that. So let's go ahead and just swatch it right next to it. All right, so this one is definitely a little bit lighter. It looks, this looks a little bit more, like a more of a yellow, yellow undertone in comparison to this one. All right, so let's go ahead to the next. All right, so the next one we're going to go for is the Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer or Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I am in the color Maple. That's my highlighting color for that that particular one so I'm just going to swatch that here okay so these are all three definitely different colors but I can certainly highlight with all of those okay so let's go to the next one okay, so the last one that we're going to go for is in the Maybelline fit me which is very common a lot of people like this one they always compare it to the NARS creamy concealer and I have the color cafe and I'm going to swatch cafe right here for you okay so as you can see the Pat McGrath is definitely more yellow than all the other ones that I chose right okay so if you have any of these the MD 23 would certainly be a great highlighting shade for you so again this is the Pat McGrath MD 23 this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in 10. This is Too Faced Born This Way um, Concealer in Maple. And this is Maybelline Fit Me in Cafe. So this is the under eye blurring powder. So it's pretty small, but it is for your under eyes. So this will still probably last for a very long time. And I didn't mention how much these cost. I totally forgot to mention that. Um, the... Concealer is $32 and the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Blurring Powder, that is $30. Okay, which for her, I could I kind of thought it was going to be higher because, I mean, the lip glosses are $30. So I guess it's priced well for Pat McGrath. However, it is still a higher-end concealer, so it is kind of up there in cost. All right, so this is the powder. Let me go ahead and open that up so you can see. It comes with a little cute mirror. 
and this is the medium powder so it looks pretty light so I'm hoping it comes through a little translucent because I do not want to look like Casper under my eye at all wow this is a really soft powder this is how it looks on my hand here this feels so Look how it shears out. This powder feels so good. Let's get into it. Let's get into the demo. Of course, I don't have anything on my face, so I'm going to do my foundation. I don't have Pat McGrath's um, foundation, so I'm going to use my Born This Way foundation for that portion, and then I'll go into the uh, her concealer and her under eye powder. Okay, let's get into it, girl. So I decided to use the... Um, born this way and this is the color hazelnut because it does have a very skin like finish and from a lot of the reviews of her her uh foundation a lot of people say it has a very natural medium coverage so we'll see how this does or how it works with her uh foundation so i'm just gonna go ahead and buff that in put a light i always do a light layer anyway like i don't like heavy coverage I like more of a natural coverage, so I went in with one pump so far. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish blending that out, and I will be back, girl. All right, so it's looking pretty blended out. I only did one pump of that um, foundation, so I'm just smoothing it out because I do want it to be, like I said, like a little bit on the only, like a medium coverage, kind of sheer very natural and skin like so i feel like it looks like that so we're going to get into the um the concealer you know what i think i'm going to bronze my face first like i'm going to i'm going to do my face how i normally would do it so let me just grab my favorite 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 way to bronze with the cream product and this is Duvia's place um foundation stick and i am in the color Cassina. let me use my teeny tiny mirror here just to see what the hell i'm doing so I'm just going to put some on this part of my face here, a little bit here on my temple, and I'm just going to put a little bit here. Normally I use the highlight as a guide, but since I'm going to be doing the highlighting after this, maybe I should have waited because this looks crazy. Maybe I should get a real mirror because this looks mad. I'm going to get a real mirror. You know what? I'm not getting another mirror. Life happens. Things aren't always perfect. So I use my finger and kind of like smooth out this part here. And now I'm just going to blend this out so you guys can see. This foundation stick blends out so easy anyway. I don't even have to be precise or right on point. It's in my hair though, but whatever. I don't want, I don't feel like getting a mirror. So let's just blend this out. Just bronzing it up a little bit. Okay. So that looks good. That looks decent because this is not about the Juvia's Place um, bronzing stick that I use, foundation stick rather, that I use as bronzing. It's about the Pat McGrath, so we're not going to focus too much on this. This looks good enough. This actually looks really great. <laughs> oh my pretty. <laughs> this looks good as fuck. So I have all of that blended out, so now let's get into the fun part, which is the concealer. Again, this is in the color MD23, which means medium dark category. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to town let's see i'm gonna use this teeny ass mirror here i feel like i put too much but i don't know we'll see how it blends out because again it's a demo and it's a first impression so let's see how it, let's see how it works i'm gonna put a little bit here down the bridge of my nose here we go. this is definitely a, a more of a yellow concealer and I believe that's what the description actually said about this color and I was like let me try yellow because I normally I don't think I really have a lot of concealers that are yellow undertone as you saw at the beginning of the video so I'm going to blend this out with my um sponge my sponge is how I like to blend concealer period so let's just see how this goes Yay! this looks <laughs> I probably could have put less this is really nice Yes. It's blending out really easy, guys. I 
this is if you hear my you probably hear my son in the background i don't know but yeah he doesn't turn down turn down for what <laughs> but this concealer is so look under my eyes just tapping it it blends out so easy as you guys are seeing live from my channel cat my glamour coming through with all the tea i love this look at this look how lift let me blend down the other side so we let it this side has been sitting for a few seconds so it still blends out very easy this color is really nice i'm, I'm happy i picked this color so if you like my color, which in MAC, I'm NW47. Um, in the Born This Way, I'm Hazelnut. In Smashbox Studio uh, Skin, I wear I wear 4.3. And in the NYX, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, I wear the color Cocoa. Just for reference, if you're trying to find your concealer shade and you look similar to me, MD23, as you can see, is doing me all the justice, girl. And it blends out really good with the sponge. The texture of this is very soft. It's almost whipped. And I love it. I love trying new concealers. I love complexion products. So that's something that you're going to see on my channel a lot. Is me trying different foundations and concealers. Because that's my favorite to try. Once you perfect skin in your makeup routine, you're 90% there. If you perfect just the skin... I mean, that's really all you need. Everything else, let that come later. But the skin has to be popping. That's everyone's goal is to have great skin. Look at my face, girl. Look how it turned me into a totally different person. So I'm just blending it up to the sides of my nose here. Because that helps with contouring. So just bring it up here. I think I'm in love. I'm looking at myself in this itty bitty teeny ass mirror. This should have been, I mean, that's my, right now, that's my only fault. Like, why is this so small? Like, who am I looking at? I'm a big beat, so this mirror should be much bigger. <laughs> I love this. Sis, look at my face. what <laughs> i love this girl okay i'm blended out looking real cute feeling real happy <laughs> so now let's get into the powder and i'm praying this powder delivers and not screw all this up um i'm gonna do it with a brush and let's see how this oh, it's a little powdery so i don't know if you can see all of that oh it's a little powdery let me just tap some of this off and go ahead and set under my eyes oh it doesn't change the, it's actually translucent it doesn't change the color of the concealer which i am happy about i'm just pressing this in i'm not rubbing it like this because i don't want to disrupt what we just laid down so i'm just going to keep pressing that in this is literally like a translucent powder and it's supposed to blur lines and Look at this eye and look at this eye. You can see a little crease there. And that's, to me, you can't get rid of that. My eye has a crease, so there's going to be a damn crease there. I don't care what nobody says. Nothing is creaseless. But look what the powder did after I said it. Look how smooth it is in comparison. I like this powder. I, like, I think I really like having a setting powder as a compact versus loose. You can really control it and it's not as messy. All right, so I'm just setting it. And this, even though it says medium, but again, it comes off as a translucent powder and it doesn't change the color of my concealer at all. And I like that. All right, so I'm just setting everywhere that we put the um, concealer. Chin. 
I want to set down the bridge of my nose. So I got to pinch that brush a little bit just to bring it down the bridge there and set it. All right, and bring the powder kind of like up the sides of my nose. All right, so I've set all of that. So I'm going to just put on my overall, my face powder, which is, if you watched my February favorites, then you already know it's going to be the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder. If you haven't watched my February favorites, what are you doing? Your life is not going anywhere. But it will if you watch the video. You can watch it after this. It's no problem. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and set my entire face with this powder. I love this powder so much. And it also has that blurring effect to it. So I'm right now I look like a filter. You can't tell me this is not a filter. Check Snapchat. This is this mug here. This is a whole filter. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So this looks this looks really good. I haven't highlighted my face yet. I haven't done any of that, but I look very radiant. Do you see that? And I look very natural. And natural is the goal. For me, natural is the goal. I want to look made up, but I definitely want to look natural. And I want to look like a human, you know? No tea, no shade. <laughs> Since we're here, I'm just going to highlight my face too. Everybody like a good glow. I know this review was about the Pat McGrath concealer and her powder, but we got to tip it off. We got to top this off. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheeks. <laughs> and I'm using my um, Per Cosmetics Light Up Vanity Blush Palette. I talked about this in my February favorites as well. So you may want to go watch it. Unless you don't want your life to go anywhere. Then don't watch it. All right. So you like that? like that glow let me do the other side for you girl in case you ain't catch that tea on this side let's get on the other side Woo! you know what let me just lay it on a little heavy for you real heavy for you get it right in there okay and i'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose well just the tip you see that and the um top of the bridge here right in between your eyes all right so I definitely have to do my cupid's bow that is <laughs> okay so that looks great I'm gonna go ahead and finish the look it's a pretty simple look because it's the video wasn't really supposed to be a look but I have my Pat McGrath lip gloss, the Opulent Lust gloss, which is only right. So the color that I'm going to use is Naked Rose. This is how it looks. I have a review and demo on these lip glosses, the trio that I purchased. I have a video, so you can go ahead and watch that if you want your life to go somewhere. Okay. Oh, look how my lip looks. These smell so good. All right. Now that I'm feeling like I'm the, like I'm just it. Let's get into. All right, y'all. So I went and grabbed a bigger mirror so I can kind of blend out the uh, powder properly under my eyes. And I'm just using that same brush and just pretty much pressing it out just to make sure there's no powder that's caking up or anything like that. So I blended it out. Um. This look is pretty much done. I look very, very radiant. I look, I look flawless in the most naturalist way. Or in the most natural, not naturalist. That doesn't make sense. In the more mo, most natural way. <laughs> and I give this concealer, I mean, out of five stars, I would give it 5.5 5, straight up. Straight up. And you don't even have to ask me why because you can see why. You can see why. This is a top shelf face. 
if you want a top shelf face, I mean, get the powder, get the concealer, and apply it properly. Get the right color, though. This is my second order, so get the right color. But I love it, guys. You know, thank you so much for watching this demo and first impression with me. For more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me try, what you guys think I should try, whatever the case is. Leave it in the comments. If you have any questions or anything, leave that in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to piss me off. Okay? Bye, guys.